It's been a lovely sunny day today. It's uh, half seven and it's still... <gasps> it fell off in there. Um, right, it's funky trousers time. Weather's improved. So here we are. We're in funky trousers today. <laughs> Charity shop. £2. Manager were going to have them and I said, are you having them or not? Because if you're not, I'm having them. So she tried them on they were too long for her. So I've got them. Excuse the funky slippers. But, um, what do you think? Yeah? This will be the first of many summer funky trousers. You're wobbling a bit. Right, so... Wednesday night, I'm just going to upload the video and um, show you some stuff that I bought by bidding online. I didn't go to, um, it was an auction and uh, it was um, spur of the moment really because I've already planned to get in touch with Jeanette and Simon from Carry On Regardless uh, if I go to another auction. But I couldn't make the last one because we was in Bristol and... Um, this one, I only thought about it sort of on the Thursday and thought, oh, auction, I'll have a look and see if there is one, and there was. But uh, as you'll see in the video, I only wanted a couple of lots. Well, I think there were three I were after and I, I got two of them. And uh, I might make reference in the video to putting some snippets on, but that didn't work out really, because um, it's one of the reasons why I missed one of them for a start, so I was faffing about trying to film it. And then I thought, just concentrate on one job at a time, woman, and... Uh, get on with what you're doing so I will uh, show you in this video what I bought and um, yeah if, if you're interested in uh, uh, what I've been getting I mean one of them is a real took a punt really uh, unseen I had no idea and I do say at the end of the video that I'm doing some research and I have done some research on them and it's not bad at all uh, well if they sell for what I'm going to be asking anyway so um That'll be a follow-up video. So for now, I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, I will see you soon. Bye. Good morning. Um, it's Friday and uh, Friday is auction day. So please excuse the state of me. I've just uh, suddenly decided that I might uh, film a little bit and show you how fast they actually go. Can't attend the internet, uh, the auction today because um, there's only two or three lots that I want to uh, go for anyway so I don't want to spend all day there waiting so uh, I've taken photos on my phone of the lots that I'm interested in or you could just write the lot numbers down and they're currently on 1063 and uh, mine is 11 something so I've got plenty of time and I've already started post this morning I've been to the post office already with a pirate ship which somebody wanted on special delivery for Saturday uh, because they're shooting an advert uh, and she wanted the pirate ship toy for an advert so I don't know what that's going to be so I said yeah if she paid the extra it cost her £16.20 to get a special for tomorrow so I've already taken that uh, this is a Weeble set which I've just put in a bag to take in the loft and it's sold straight away for £20 so it's uh, Peppa Pig Weebles I've also got uh, a pirate ship which is a Connects one. I paid £2 for this at a car boot and um, uh, I just had to order an extra couple of bits but the extra that came in the bits I ordered I'm selling separately to cover the cost of that anyway so really only cost me £2 and I'd sent them an offer of nineteen ninety nine. And they sent me a message to say the offer's expired. Would you mind awfully sending it again? So I sent him an offer for £19.99 and he's paid for that. So I've got some little red tractor books which have gone for, if I remember rightly, about £8. And uh, Mr Men, another little bundle uh, that I've done. And uh, that's the last one now out of about 12 of them. Uh, and that's gone for £6. Uh, a fat face mini dress top tunic whatever it's been on for oh, probably a year kept dropping its price and it's finally gone for 4 99 and uh, so one two three four five and a pair should gone yeah so six today so that's it get those packaged 
Right, so I did win a couple of lots and I'm going to show you what I won. Um, I didn't show it online on the auction because I'd already missed one lot because I was dillying and faffing about. Um, but to be honest, this is the lot that I really, really wanted. So I didn't uh, film it, so sorry about that. But it just went in the way of the others. You've got to be fast. And uh, I picked up this job lot for £90. And I also got a lot which I will show you tomorrow, um, which was uh, some little miniature jugs. Uh, they're out of my comfort zone, not had any before. And uh, I might just get back what I paid, but um, they're in here. Lots of lots of little ones, but I'll open that tomorrow and we'll have a look at them. Just come back with tons of packages. Uh, and big boxes and these are all uh, so I paid £10 for the mini jugs and £90 for this so in total with commission £128 now they're not all good these and this is one of the dangers of bidding online and not actually going first to have a look is that some of them these are good but I've got some that have got um, worn edges because this is Evesham it's Royal Worcester and there's gold or there's veil. Veil's got green round it. There are others as well that have got coloured rims and things. But this is what we've got. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out the ones that have got the really good edging. And uh, not list any of the ones that aren't so good at the minute. Because I don't want to bring down this lot if you see what I mean. So um, they might get re-donated or I might put them on as a job lot once these have all gone. And um, I've got all sorts in here. We've got coddlers. These are large ones. It's either like a two egg one. We've got bowls. We've got uh, creamers. Um, got a few of those. Got three different sized jugs. We've got a huge uh, bread and butter plate. So that's going to have to wait because it's a bit worn around the gilt. Um, rimmed bowls. Um, one of them three sections sort of relish trays servers egg cups these are quite rare I think these I don't, I don't see many of these these are for prom cocktails if I've got it right anyway we've had a lot of injuries to fingernails because of um, washing all this lot I want to hand wash them so right that's those and it's evening now Saturday night it is um, and I'll show you how I'm photographing them so I've got all these as well and uh, these are the ones can you see on the edges these are worn here whereas these are good so I'm not putting those on as yet we've got a um, sugar bowl uh, marmalade these are serving dishes au gratin uh, dishes uh, ear dishes there they're quite big then we have um, we have ramekins uh, pudding bowls little pudding bowls um, these sort of flat flatter cups this one's had a right repair to it look look at the state of that Less. It's, it's supposed to look wonky, that handle. Um, nevertheless, it's got that much glue in it. Um, <coughs> so that's not good. Anyway, you've got to work with what you've got, haven't you? So this is how I've set it up. We have uh, no lights on. And I closed the blanks. I started doing it in daylight. So you don't want to let daylight in if you're using your lights. Don't want the top light because that'll cast shadows. So I've only got one of my lights on. Uh, I've got a nice comfortable chair-ish and um, a dress out of the wardrobe because I haven't got a black background. So this is an, a nice dress of mine. Look, <laughs> don't wear dresses really, um, but it is. Uh, and I've used it before quite successfully. And what I've do is uh, set it up. I've got it on square setting, so I'll never go over the edges. And um, I've got what I want to photograph at this side, photograph it, then move it to this side. So I'm doing it as square. 
can't show you on this video, uh, but they're coming out really nice. Um, and then I'm going to do one of the multi listings that I showed you. So, like in this one, I've got the large storage pot with the lid, and then I discovered thought I'd got two storage pots, uh, but I discovered this one's lid's broken. But this multi-listing is going to be for spares and replacements for people anyway. So that's fine. So I've also got butter dish, which is nice. And uh, on the Evesham Veil with the green, I've got four cups, four saucers, four tea plates and the base of a butter dish. With the green edge but no lid but somebody could have broken their base and just want one so i'll get that on but i'm going to do the veil as a separate listing so there's no confusion whatsoever and i'm doing them as one piece unless it states with lid and um what i'll do is so that i get oh, look at that. so that i get the multi-listing in the right uh order with the photographs that i've taken i'm making a list as a photograph it so that's that, so that's how I'm doing it, with a dress pinned up to the back of my roller blind. Because this white against the white look is uh, just not going to stand out at all. So I think on the black. I know this is a white background, but I did my last white china on black and I thought it looked very nice. So that's it. So tomorrow, on Sunday, I will find a minute to show you the uh, jugs. We'll have a look in there and see what we've got. Probably a load of rubbish. So here it is. This is the uh, final listing, uh, one of the multi variation listings, and um, shows you the image that I came up with. I'm not recommending that you do them on black. Um, for Google images, they say do them on white. So I'm being a bit of a rebel uh, because I like the look of them. So. That's what I've done and uh, I've taken them all individually and then um, used the Zippy photo stitcher to um, put them all together. Uh, reduced the pixel size of them down to 800 by 800 each and then it wasn't too big uh, to upload as one shot. If I'd have done them all as they were uh, it would have been too big and it wouldn't have accepted it. So. I've done them all as 800 each so that it's 2400 on each side and that's okay for eBay so it's a zippy photo stitcher I use and it's really really easy. So that's it and then um, we have the selections so there's loads and loads and loads and um, it takes you to your individual um, individual photos. So there, that's how that's turned out. Right, I'm just going to swap you over now and show you these uh, little tiny jugs, which are probably going to be a waste of time, but uh, it's a learning curve. Right, I'm delving in my box. Sorry about the light, the sun's streaming in, I've got the blinds closed and I'm still having to avoid it. Um, this is the first one, it looks hand painted. It's got like a little, little bird on a fence looks Japanesey um, but it's got no markings on it just to give you some scale it's about five inches about five inches so that's number one another little china these might end up going as a job lot really China three and a half inches no markings on that one if you hear a rattle I broke one um, yeah I'm getting a feeling none of these are going to have markings on otherwise they would have put them as a separate auction wouldn't they um, nice little dressing table jug, browns, 
mottled gold top. Again, about two and a half inches that one. As I say, a couple of job lots of, um, oh this looks like a shell. It's very, very thin and I can see through that. And this is Pelik Per or Percana Perry. Can't read it. Uh, it's from Ireland anyway. I'll see if I can read that in a bit. Little shell. Uh, Royal Gouda, Holland. Just a little crafts one. Unusual. Oh, another one of those. Oh, this one's tiny. and it's uh, that if anybody's any ideas get that in the light yeah uh, tiny tiny one again little porcelain one um, foreign and it's only about how big is that one, one and three quarter inches that one and it's got a little dragon on that side as well that's what people do don't they I don't think that's helping that's that no markings on, on that one it's got an unusual handle I dropped a lid somewhere, I've just heard it go. This is Ainsley Cottage Garden. Butterflies and flowers. This one's pretty. And it's got flower on the inside as well. Fine bone china made in England. Just a tiny little little floral one. I'm going to be surrounded by a newspaper in a minute. Ah, oh, does that go with? Yeah. So it's a little, little miniature jug and bowl. Another one of them. Sandford Gold Edge Clover Leaf Sandford Clover Leaf that one It's got a bigger jug Tuscan Fine English Bone China That's a big one I knew I knew this pattern. Um, sweet pea. When I was putting them in the 
in the box I thought, oh, there's one I recognise really, it's Grimwades. Uh, Royal Winton Grimwades and that's Sweet Pea. So that might be one to look up. That might be one to look up separately. Another big one. Nosegay. New Chelsea staffs. Made in England. I should think these are the sort of things that I ought to be trying on Etsy really. Blenheim, Blenheim dishwasher oven safe. It's not that old then, is it? That one. Medium size. Another one of those different. I keep holding it in the wrong place, don't I? Different shape, so it goes with that one. That's a pair in the making. Love it's Langley. Quite heavy that, like a stoneware one. Mm, hand painted Delphs Blau. Delphs Blau. Colton Ware, hand painted, Australian design. I can see your comments on this is going to be bundle them up so they're a load of rubbish. Uh, yeah, like that one. Can't you? Is it getting any better? Better light. Uh, Union made in Czechoslovakia. Little China bowl. This is pretty Ainsley again. So, Matt, I've got a little Ainsley bundle going on here. focus. Um, another Ainsley. It's lost some of its gilt that. I'm going to be interested in looking them up though. Um, that'll probably be an evening job. And uh, a random picture <laughs> random picture in the bottom of the box uh, so this is the receipt from paid £10 and £90 and the charges on uh, £100 was £28.15 not as bad as some auction galleries, I don't think. Uh, Crown Ducal Wear. That feels really old. You know, the design. Uh, Bavaria. That's one. Pretty flowers. I've made... Um, sort of similar pretty flowers out of uh, icing sugar for somebody wanted a it was a spring wedding and she wanted a display of uh, different spring flowers um, in sugar all on stems and we added daffodils and tulips and uh, all sorts of things now this is the Sandford and it goes with the clover one there Oh, that 
that's nice. Somebody might just want a very pale pink um, sugar bowl and creamer. That's that Tuscan one. Getting a bit close to that camera when I bend down, aren't I? Uh, Kent Bone China, Taylor and Kent, England. Um, there's a certain name for when the you know when the gold is on, but it's not a straight edge. It kind of roughs down onto the thing. There's a name for that, and I looked it up once, but I can't think at the minute. Um, for, uh, presume there's collectors out there. Ainsley. Ah. Here we go. Little milk jug and sugar bowl there. Well, that's not bad. Spent a couple of quid back on on those. That's that ducal ware. Uh, not overly fussed. See what I did then was I pushed the tray that I've been putting them on and a bit of Playmobil fell down and it's a... that's what you get for not tidying it. Uh, Queen Anne fine bone china tiny tiny no breakages as far as I can see another big one We've nearly done. Sorry about this. Uh, FXA. Just as made in England. FXA it says on it. Um, it's a bit sort of Art Deco style handle. On that. It's more like a little vase. We have a gold or copper coloured Lancaster and Sandland Limited Hanley. Bit different gold rimmed bowl to go with it. Rubbish, rubbish. Yeah. Another bowl, Harvest Ware, Wade, England. It's got some crazy in the bottom, but it's quite nice. Mm. Be interesting. Right, I'm near the bottom. Oh, pick this lot up. Ah, oh, that is mottled. Does that go with that? No, not that one. Go a stopper or something. And oh. China forget me nots and roses. Coalport. Coal Coalport that one. And it's just a little vase. Tiny little single little single stem vase. Coalport. That's that one. Ah, that's that stopper for that. So it's an oil oil or vinegar jug.
what did I drop? Something. Oh. You see a danger of doing anything when you've got a load of rubbish on floor is that if you drop something you can't find it. Right, I must crack on and get some listing done so um, sorry if this one is short and sweet I don't actually know how much time I've been filming at the minute and I'm trying to avoid that sun. Um, so that's auctions for you. Um, sorry I didn't show actually bidding on the item but uh, you need to concentrate, you see, so you wait too long, you've missed it. Um, all those are listed. I'm going to spend uh, a bit of time researching these, and uh, if I do sell any, I'll let you know. Uh, if you want to tell me that uh, they're a waste of time, just put them in a big bundle back at a tenner. Uh, or if you've spotted anything that you think is interesting, uh, let me know. Anything that you can identify, that would be brilliant. Um, not expecting it, I, I am looking forward to doing research, but if you do happen to know, you know. And um, anyway, I must move along because we're mid-month, fees are going to be going out um, from being poorly. Uh, I ended up not listing much and uh, couldn't really afford to keep paying the fees as I go at the time. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to keep buying any stock. And now it's uh, it's a bit of a struggle. There's been lots of ups and downs and ups and downs. And this is the trouble with being self-employed is you don't get sick pay, do you? So if you don't work, you're not going to make any money. Anyway, I hope you're all having fantastic sales. I've had a few more subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, hello. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. We're one big happy little family. And... Um, You'll pick bits out of my videos that you like and then some of them you'll just want to skip on. So, sorry about the creaky chair. I'll try and sit still. Hope you're getting loads of ka -chings. Take care. Love you loads. Bye.